All right, welcome fellow Shopify entrepreneurs. Happy New Year. It's 2024. I hope all of you have the best e-commerce entrepreneurship year of your life, whether that's starting a new store or having the best year of your business's life so far. Let's all have a great 2024. In this video, I just wanted to show you a quick little trick when it comes to collections and filtering your products in your collection. So this is what I mean. We're on our test store here. It's beautiful. We have these three amazing products. And when you are using Using, for example, this is the Dawn theme in Shopify, you can enable the sort by for your products, for your collection. So in your theme editor to show you how to enable this, if you go to your collections, this is a collection with three products that I named bestseller. Just to show you really quickly how to add these two features, if you go into your theme editor, this is for the Dawn theme, all themes are very different. But if you enable this button here called enable sorting, we will see that this button right here disappears. See this here? So if we enable sorting again, the sort by appears. Also on the same page, if you click enable filtering, this is what changes the filter for the customers on the right side. You can click them both off. You can leave them both on. I usually leave them both on for customer convenience. Now, there is a cool little trick that you can do here to enable your products that are your best sellers, that have the highest profit margins, that are the ones that you want to push and you want to sell to appear first. Obviously you can do some rearranging and some product boosting with the search and discover app. I'm going to do a whole video on the search and discover app. It's a free, one of my favorite apps in all my Shopify stores. It's a free app made and developed by Shopify. You'll never get billed for it because it is a free Shopify app. I can do a whole video on that, but without any apps, there's a few cool little tricks that you can do here to rearrange these products at your will. So the first thing I want to, I want to show you here is what sort option is presented to the customer on default. So for example, if we go back to our homepage and we click our best seller, if you need help with navigation, making these menus, I did a whole video on that. You can check out my channel for that. But if we go to best sellers, we see that the default sort by right now is price low to high. There's all these different ones. So you might be asking how, why is this default selected price low to high? What if I wanted it price high to low? Or what if I wanted it to sort by best selling the ones that do your best in your store? You can change this. So if we go to our collections in our admin and we go to our collection, the best seller collection, and we scroll down here. This is how you can change this by default. So if we go to our products, this might not seem like it's doing anything, but it actually is changing the default selection on your online store. So for example, we can see here that it's sort by lowest price. This is the option in this collection that is set. This is why when you open this collection, it will show price low to high because this is selected here. Now watch, if I change this in the collection to best selling, it has rearranged it has told me the collection has been updated. I don't even actually have to press save, but now if I go back to my store, maybe just give this a refresh and I go back to my best sellers. Now look at that. We can see that the default sort by setting is best selling just because we changed that in our collections tab. One more time, if we go to newest, it's a brand new collection, our newest products, we want our newest products to get the most attention, we can do this. And once again, if we go back to my store, maybe just give it a refresh and go back to best sellers. Now we can see that the default is set best selling. Now, of course, if a customer goes to your website, changes the default sorting to price low to high, goes to your other sections on your website, then goes back to best sellers. This will hold to their selection. This is just because of the cookies in your browser and it's saving what the customer wants. But upon a new first time user, first time viewer, we can change this to any of these options here. I bring this up because in one of my Shopify stores, I was having, I was making a collection and it would have been uh, really good just from a financial standpoint and also just from a look standpoint to have my bundles at the top all together. And so what I ended up doing is because I, I have, at the time, I had it on obviously product title A to Z, and this is sorting by alphabetical order A to Z, of course. So what I did in that case was I actually just changed the title of the bundles to all be the same. You can sort that by using the same letter, obviously, but you can also do it by number. So in this example, it was the three pack of items. So I just changed the name to three pack and then listed the rest of the title. So each bundle was right at the top. Um, it said three pack, three pack, three pack, and they all were kind of the best sellers, the best bargain for my company. And also just looked really nice. But there's another thing that you can do here. If you saw when I was changing the sort by, there's a manual option here. This isn't an option to select here. This is just for you. As you can see, date, new to old, price, low to high, alphabetical, Z to A and HZ, best selling and featured. In this collection option, 
you have a manual. This is just for you. So if I click, if I click manual, I can rearrange this just by clicking and dragging these three dots on the corner. So for example, if I want my hat first and then the shirt and then the pants, we can do this. If we refresh our page, we will now see that the default setting is now changed to featured because we are on manual and the order of the items is now in the manual order that I selected. So this should get your brain storming, <laughs> your brain brainstorming because you can do a ton of this. You can do a ton of editing. You can do a ton of strategic product positioning with this. And you can be sure that if you're browsing any store online ever, items are not presented to you at random at all. They are strategically positioned to be the best for the company, the ones that are hottest sellers, the ones that give them the most profit margin, the ones that are best sellers, even if it's by featured. To be honest, when I'm browsing online stores and buying things online, like everybody does, I never, ever, ever use the featured section because I don't even know what that means. It seems like in this case, featured means manually, manually set order. So again, if we set this to manual and we reverse this to the pants on the top and the hat on the bottom and we can see that the products have been reordered. We don't have to save, but it has been reordered. And we refresh this, we can now see that our, our setup is opposite. So one more time, let's say this shirt is our best seller and we want to push this no matter what. We want to have the best eyes on this. We can put our shirt at the top to make sure that when the page loads for any customer, the shirt is always presented first as it is our best value product and the product we're featuring the most. If we refresh this page, we can now see that the shirt is at the very, very top. We can see also that our sort by collection is default by featured and that is because it's manually changed on our admin. So this is super important if you have a collection, but also if you have a collection of many, many pages of items, a lot, a lot of products, hundreds of products even, you know, that's fairly common in clothing stores. We have to recognize how long a new customer or returning customer is gonna stay on the page and scroll scroll all the way down, click on the next page, scroll all the way down to the next page. So if we have an item that we want to push, we want the most eyes on, we can easily do that by manually editing the order of the products or as well, selecting the default sort option in the settings that this has now changed to best selling and is rearranged. I hope this helps guys. I hope once again, I hope 2024 is the best year of your business says life. If this video has helped you in any way or has got you brainstorming onto new optimizations that you can implement in your online store and has gotten you excited, hey, leave a like so I know I just like helping fellow entrepreneurs on this channel. But more so, this video is an invitation for you to join a free community just by hitting the subscribe button where I just wanna bring together all types of Shopify entrepreneurs, e-commerce entrepreneurs, so we can all come to one place and actively discuss, actively learn from each other and actively grow all our businesses together. That's what I'm striving to achieve on this channel. If that is something that interests you, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and if you do, I'll see you in the next video.